lap of one fly for last lap and you crash and burn. Crash and burn as God tells you, depart from me, ye workers in iniquity, into the to, to hell created by God for the Satan and his angels. I'm here to tell you that the wages of sin is death. Death is sure, death is coming, my friend. What must I do to be saved? <laughs> Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. He that believeth not on the Son shall not see life. Picture yourself going around on this track, and the last lap you crash and burn, and end up in the devil's hell. Not prepared for man, but prepared for Satan and his angels. And yet the Bible says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him shall not perish. There's one thing that is sure. You're going to die. After death there is an afterlife, and the Bible speaks of as in heaven or as in hell. Heaven is by the precious blood, by the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, how he died for your sins was buried according to scriptures and arose again on the third day, all according to scriptures. You're not even guaranteed the book of James that you can cross this road. Death is sure. Life after death is sure. And Jesus Christ is the more sure that can save. For only Jesus can save. A man goes into hell by rejecting Christ as his Savior. The free gift for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Don't crash and burn on your final lap of life. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ now, for now is the day of salvation. Prepare to meet thy God, the Bible speaks. <coughs> Come on to me. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. We stand here to talk about your eternal soul, your eternal state. This race will end in a few hours, but your eternal life will last for all time. All time to be with God and Lord Jesus Christ. All time to be in hell burning, which the Bible speaks in Luke chapter 3 as torment. Being tormented. Torment. Many buy life insurance, but we're here to tell you about death insurance. Death insurance where Jesus Christ paid the, paid the, the premium. Jesus Christ did all that you cannot do. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. You say, I come here to enjoy the race. You may never make it to the race. The wages of sin is death. Death is sure by accident. Death is sure by stroke. Death is sure by heart attack. There are many ways to die. You may not even make it across this street. Right now, you can make sure, you can know you have eternal life. The Bible is written that you may know that you have eternal life. And that eternal life rests upon Jesus Christ. The finished work, life begins not at 40, life begins at Calvary. Upon that cross where God died, where God suffered, where God was a sacrifice. Behold the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. We're not here trying to ruin your day. We're trying to hit a bright in your eternity. To realize, to get to the fact that death is coming. Death is sure. Last year at this track, you had cars going to the stands. If that were to happen right now, if that were to happen to you, and you would take your last breath, where would you wake up? Where will your eternity be upon death right now? For the wages of sin is death. You got a sin condition. You got a sin problem. You got a disease called sin. And it all rests upon the finished work of Christ upon Calvary's cross. The blessed gospel that Christ died.
for your sins, was buried according to Scripture, and arose again the third day according to Scripture, seen above 400 people. 400 people witnessed the resurrected Christ that can stand in a court of law. The Bible can stand in a court of law of our assurance. I'm not here to tell you to put your faith in man. I'm not here to tell you to put your faith in religion or baptism or church. Put your faith in the finished work of Jesus Christ, the sin cleanser that can wash away all your sin. In the world of religion, Allah wants your blood, but Jesus Christ shed His sinless blood. The precious blood of Christ, without spot, here to cleanse you from all unwi unrighteousness, all sin. That's assurance, Jesus is my April 1987. I believe on the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior. I have known, by the Bible says that I know where I'm going if I take my last breath. Right now, if I take my last breath, fall down this sidewalk, I know where I will be in eternity. Do you know? Do you have some full assurance, rest assurance, if you were to die right now? You hear it all the time. No, no, no. Thank you. You're a good man. Thank you. Thank you. I like that. My son is a hospice preacher. He's still in college. He's going to be a preacher or a big uh, professor at a college of teaching. Yep. Teach Amen. 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 You have a good day now. You read the papers all the time. A car comes into a crowd and smacks everybody. What if that would happen right now? What if you right now a car ran across this intersection and you were plowed down dead? Where would you wake up to eternity without? Without hitting no replay button. But now to know that you can have. Eternal life by the love of God through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Jesus says, Come. Man says, Cash, check, or money order. Jesus says, It's freely. Drink of the water of life freely. Man says, Give me, give me. God says, I'll reach out to you. Come on to me. Let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. You have a sin condition that can only be met by Jesus Christ, by His precious blood. To die without Christ is literal hell. To die without Christ, you will crash and you will burn for all eternity. Eternity will be a clock with a hand missing. No hand upon the clock and God says I'll let you out at 11. He said that's impossible. That's the truth. Here on this earth you can be cured of cancer but you cannot be cured once you enter into the gates of hell. You will not come out. To get out of hell right now in this state as you're living is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and he that believeth not in the Son shall not see life. There is no in hell. Life is to be with God, your creator. In the beginning, God created the heaven and earth, no matter what you were told. It's all rest upon the finished work upon Calvary, upon Jesus Christ. God. God is Jesus, and Jesus is God. That is how you can know about true salvation. True salvation is not... True salvation is not what you can do. True salvation is what God has already done for you. And you need to come on. What must I do to be saved, the Bible says in the book of Acts? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Acts 16.31. That is the reason. That is the answer. Without Christ, you're going to take your final lap one day. You'll take your final lap and you will crash and you will burn and you will burn for all eternity. In Luke chapter 11, you read about a rich...
rich man that is in hell. He explains hell as being tormented, being in torment. I'm here to tell you that anybody in hell, your family or any of these race car legends have gone on or gone to the place of hell. Luke 11 says, go and tell my family. Go and tell those fans. Tell them about this place. Warn them about this place. Tell them not to come to this devil's hell. And don't think that hell is a party because you can't have booze in hell because hell is fire. Booze burns up. The Bible speaks of hell as darkness. You can't see. It's a place of torment. You're not going to want to have your friends around. There is no doctor. There is no physician. There is no drugs. It is torment for all eternity. And you can avoid it right now by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. God does not want to send you there. But it's your rejection of Christ that He will send you in hell. 